We never knew that Ryan had a heart defect until he was born and he was one week old. We took him into his one week appointment with his physician and he told us that he thought he heard a murmur that he didn't like the sounds of so he wanted to get an echocardiogram. And that was on a Friday by Monday morning we were in Children's Hospital because they diagnosed him with a significant heart defect. My name is Adel Yunizai. I'm a pediatric cardiologist here at Children's Hospital. I've been here since 2006, so moving up on 10 years. So Ryan's heart is really complicated. Uh, there's a big hole that connects the right and the left sides of his heart, and developmentally, the blood vessel that's supposed to come off one side came off the wrong side. So it took a big surgery to get him fixed. We always knew he had to have this valve replacement eventually, so it's a pretty scary situation to know that your the worst day of your life to date is coming up on a calendar. And seeing the fear in his eyes, that was definitely the most difficult part for me. My name's James Jaggers, and I'm the Chief of Congenital Heart Surgery here at Children's Hospital Colorado. Ryan was born with a very complex heart defect, and he had an operation when he was very young, when he was a baby. He had a very good recovery from that, but it's the type of heart defect that leaves him with an abnormal pulmonary valve. As kids get older, that pulmonary valve didn't grow, and so he needed to have a new pulmonary valve. Right after Ryan had surgery, uh, I knew he was struggling with a little bit of pain, so I stopped by to say hello. And as I walked in, he kind of looked up, saw me, and gave me a little smile. One of the biggest rewards of what I do, his parents said that was the first smile he had after his surgery. It was very tough. He didn't want uh, anybody to know that he was having any pain. He was up and at him, you know, the day after surgery. Hi, my name is Ryan. I'm in third grade and I'm eight years old. My favorite sport is soccer and baseball. When I grow up, I want to be a teacher. He's been our little superhero since day one. He's a pretty tough little kid. The only time we've seen him cry is when he saw us cry. He doesn't want you to know he's hurting. He doesn't want you to know that he's scared. Between us and his doctors, we've had to inform him that it's okay. This is a very scary thing for him to do, and you know, he has a ton of courage. So he ran into another kid, and this kid looked at him and said, oh my gosh, if this little boy can do this, I can do this. Ryan just walks around like, it's no big deal. There's a lot of people that look up to him. I mean, he's, he's always putting everybody else in front of himself. He's a very generous kid. Ryan inspires me. Patients like Ryan inspire me. Their resilience, the way they bounce back, being able to see them when they're sick and being able to see them get better and get that energy, that love of life, that's what makes me do what I do. My heart was broken when I was little and I had to go to Children's Hospital and get it fixed. I've always been one of those people that have always been skeptic when it comes to doctors and I think coming to Children's, it made me feel so much comfort knowing that he's in as good hands as he could possibly be anywhere else. But it's nice to know that by, by giving to the hospital, you're giving money to a cause that you may need in the future and if your kids don't need it, somebody you know will need it. At one point in time, your life's going to be touched by the hospital. I fully believe in the mission of Children's Hospital and our Heart Institute. Miracles happen every day. Someone like Ryan who had such complex heart disease may not have been curable 20, 30 years ago, but it's only because of the advancements that we've made and institutions like us have made through the generosity uh, of giving. And for all those people out there that support Children's Hospital, we want to thank you and we know that we can't do it without you. We see kids every day with life-threatening illnesses, and yet they still seem to laugh and play. So I think that's what courage is, being able to get through complex medical problems and illnesses and still smile. I think courage is exactly who Ryan is. I think courage is, no matter how many tests he goes through here, he always walks out with a smile and he always tells the nurses thank you. Courage is being brave. Thank you, Children's Colorado.